Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick uh, read for today in regards to Twin Flame, Soulmates in Separation, Connection, and I was feeling um, a Divine Masculine that's kind of a little upset or a little, uh, I don't know, the Shining Star just popped up, but uh, they see you in a great light. Just somebody that's going through a lot of stuff right now I'm feeling like they're not in the happiest of places so we're going to take a look and see exactly what this energy is and yeah let's take a look so let's just see let's just jump right into it if you're new welcome you know the drill I'm sure you've heard it before like and subscribe and welcome to my other uh, subscribers so here we go this is what I was feeling narcissist energy right so we've got some I'm using my laptop guys so and I'm not in the room that I usually do these readings so just so you know okay um, yeah here is the narcissist energy uh, in regards to what's going on this person is dealing with this kind of energy right now I feel it's really difficult for them right now. I feel that it's um, numbing a lot of their feelings here. I'm feeling that it's um, turning them to stone, pretty much, is the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, sorry, I feel like I have need bifocals these days. Um, what else with this masculine energy? Yeah, they're putting an end to a cycle. So I feel like whoever this person is, this masculine, they've kind of gone through the brunt of it. They're spying on you. <laughs> um, they're pretty much in a very dark place. They feel like stone. Like this per this picture is like they're completely stone. And they're putting an end to that cycle because I feel like they're recognizing that this cycle has ensued most of their life where they feel like stone. They don't have feelings or they have to change themselves or they have to conform because they're dealing with the narcissist. What is this narcissist energy? Can't make this up, guys. The karmic wheel. So, yeah, this is their karma. This is why they've been going through this many, 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 many times over and over and over and over and over again. That it's just a constant thing. Where are they at right now, spirit, with this karmic cycle of narcissist energy? I feel that it's not just the person that they're with. I feel it's multiple people around them. I feel that's why they close off. That's why they mostly have cut off a lot of their feelings. That's why they've cut off their feminine energy on the inside. So, I love you. So, it's making them realize how they feel about their divine feminine. Because it's making them realize, like, oh my god. I've been stuck in narcissist energy, and it's a very deep conditioning that they've been in for most of their life. What is this? Balance. So now they're seeking that balance here. Clarify this karmic wheel. I need some space. So, sorry, we're, the electricity is, you know, we're in a third world country. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is, you know, I need some space. I need some space in regards to dealing with this and this person is this is how they're feeling this is the energy that i was feeling do you see how they're kind of sitting in a corner and they're just yeah just not in the in the best space and that's kind of how i'm feeling this this masculine energy what is the karmic energy that they're dealing with in their life remember karmic doesn't have to be a third party take it as it resonates if you guys want to work with me all that stuff is down below you know the drill night and day I feel like this person thought it was their balance, but it ended up that they've come into illumination about it, about who their real balance is. So they may have, like, denied things with their feminine is what I'm getting. I feel that, yeah, now they're using their intuition here about who their night and day is, and that's what that balance and um, life partner and who their life partner is. So what did they think of this narcissist karmic energy spirit and made them realize that they had to become the emperor? They had to rise. It was the only way that they could discover what they had with, with their Divine Feminine. And that's kind of what the feeling that I'm getting here is this illumination in the midst of their darkness. That they, they had to come into this conclusion because they, they weren't getting it anywhere else. I, they weren't getting in the relationship. They weren't getting it with people around them. This one wanted to come out. Yeah, and this is why they're asking, like, wait on me. They're still healing here. This masculine is healing. I feel they've been put through the ringer. I almost get the feeling that 
Look at this. You're my shining star. <laughs> this is what they think about you. Can we work things out? So I almost feel like This person loves you. <laughs> I almost feel like they had a lot to work through in regards to this narcissistic type of energy. Um, a lot. I'm not ready for what you have to offer. And I think that's partly why they're not communicating if you're ghosted or it's limited communication. Oh my god, there's like plastic on these chairs. Like, why does my mom put plastic on chairs? Is that like an Indian thing? Let me know. Like, what is that a cultural thing? Like, are there any Guyanese people? Like, why do, does she put plastic on these fucking chairs? Like, it's equator weather, and I'm like sticking. Listen. Like, like, look, there's fucking plastic on the fucking chairs. God, <laughs> I go back to my own place. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, they... Oh, my God. This is why they're taking so long, and they're not ready to, like, come forward with an offer. I feel like they really want to. I feel like they have all of this admiration for you. I feel like they, they really, really do. And they've come into a life... A, a huge uh, realization... Um, basically about who their life partner is and who their real balance is. Why are they not ready for what this person has to say? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Let those just get interesting. Well, that's because the third party knows about you. So there's a lot of discussions that are going on. Let's go deeper into that. There's a lot of discussions that are going on. You've obviously come up in a conversation. And... I feel this person is saying, no, like, it's not a thing, and I'm not going to jump from one thing to the next. I'm not. But I think they want to, is the feeling that I'm getting from these energies. And if they do it too quickly, I think it may cause issues financially or whatever. They're trying to sort something out amicably, but that's also why the karmic is also holding on to a situation. Let's see. Whoa! I wasn't ready for all those to fall out. What is going on with this third party that the third party knows? So what? I don't know. Why give respect to a, the karmic energy? If you want something, you just do it. That's how I am anyways. If I want something, I just go for it. They're taking a time out from, from this karmic, so I think they're like putting some space now between the karmic energies. Yeah, I basically just tell people where to go. <laughs> but I know not everyone can do that. <laughs> like, I don't like it. I'm just going to say it. Like, I don't care about your feelings. You got to manage your own feelings. Like, you don't say it in a mean way. But you just say, this is not working for me. I'm pretty much over it. Let's work it out. Those are the facts. Let's not get emotional about it. Everyone has to deal with their own emotions. But, I don't know. I guess I'm different. Um, time out. <laughs> Maybe I'm a narcissist. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, I'm not really like that, but, you know, pretty much, actually. Uh, time out. They're taking a time out because they have to parent this. That's exactly what it is. They gotta take care of this person. It's boo-hoo, wishy-washy, whatever. Um, there is a relationship change and they're holding a lot of compassion. Your person got a, a big heart and holding a, a lot of compassion. Like, honestly, um, yeah, they, they really are. They are holding compassion. They're taking a time out. They're taking the lead. What are they taking a lead with, with this third party? About, yeah, there was a, a promise here. So somebody may be very devastated. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> A year karmic. I'm sorry. I have like, I I I'm a bit of a Kali spirit. So if you're watching this and you think I'm cold-hearted, I'm sorry. I'm a Kali spirit. I believe in the righteous alignment of God. And if you don't follow that, then that's not my problem. That's how I am. A Kali spirit. I hold gateways and portals for the righteous who want to grow and heal and know their true alignment to spirit. And anybody that doesn't that wants to get in the way of that, you can go. That's how I am. 
I don't, I'm okay to redirecting those people, but I'm not with third party energies that I, because the feeling that I'm getting from this karmic energy is like they're using it to their advantage now. That's what I'm getting. What is this karmic with this promise? Let's see, let's dive deeper. What is this karmic with this promise here? I know there's secrets between us. What secrets? Judgment, because there's judgment happening here. Um, there's something else happening with this karmic energy. My hair is like getting pulled at the back. Um, what is going on with this karmic energy? They've taken a time out and they're not liking it. That's pretty much what I'm getting. They're not liking it at all. So let's see, what is the, your person towards a karmic and what is going on with the karmic towards your person? They're trying to find balance. They want to come towards you. They really want it. They're really trying to end a cycle here. Um, they want you to wait because they're really going through dealing with their narcissist. Somebody that is... I think they have somewhat awareness of this karmic playing games with them. And I think they have an awareness here that they have to like parent them and take care of them. I'm sorry. Like people have to be self-sufficient for their emotions. Like, I'm sorry. You shouldn't be like parenting somebody. You need to parent yourself. That's part of the self-love movement. <laughs> That's part of like awakening that's part of enlightenment you know you don't put that on somebody else to give you something outside of yourself you have to come to that yourself that's a child needs that a child needs that you know until they grow yeah um this person your person wants to go on a journey here so they want to get on that train and they want to go on the journey what's going on with the karmic energy here in regards to this time out and knowing about the person watching what do they know what do they know you think you know yeah <laughs> you think you know <laughs> What do you know? They know they're in despair because of their home life. Because they had a dream, they thought, or they or they were married, or whatever, and they had a dream. And it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. I think I've moved, like, and done this so many times that it just, I don't know, falls off the back of my, my neck now like a duck. Um, yeah, they're in despair because of what's happened. And so what is this, what is your person doing for this karmic energy? About this despair? <laughs> It's not looks like they don't care either. Um, they know they're the false person. So what are they doing? They're holding a high honor. Your person is really holding space for this karmic energy. Is it hinder? Is it a? Is it a ply spirit? Is it a ploy? Not a ply, a ploy. Um, because they're holding a high honor. What is this high honor that they hold for the karmic? Why? Like it's. They're changing. Okay. So they used to put this karmic on a pedestal. Oh, they're sensitive. They're nice. Just because someone's kind and nice doesn't mean that they don't operate in the shadows. Lots of things are personas at the front, you know? That's why I, I like being raw and open. You, what you see is what you get. What you hear is what, you, what is the truth. No lies over here. And um, this karmic energy... Oop. I'm going to take those. Um, this karmic energy... Uh, they used to put on a pedestal. So why don't they put this person on a pedestal anymore? Because they feel trapped and imprisoned. <laughs> Is this karmic energy um, holding the masculine back? Yeah, they are because there's an ending to an abundant. To the abundance, which is the house. Let's pull some tarot. Let's use my shaman. I haven't used these in a while. So, all I'm getting from here is this masculine energy is very much in dealing with a narcissistic energy, very much um, knows who their life partner is, um, knows the balance, and it's contrasted them into a state of illumination. Um, they're trying to end the cycle here. They're not ready to talk to the viewer yet, um, but they want to work it out. They see you as your shining star. They see amazing things about you. They are holding space for this karmic energy because they're a crybaby and they can't handle it and they are now holding on to that parenting because they don't want to do the work themselves and it also delays the whole fact and they're wah, wah, wah about it. And your person is um, changing um, the, their viewpoint about this person that they used to put a high honor on this person and think that there's, I think this person thought this person's sensitivity, um, was a depth of kindness, but let, let, let me tell you something, 
Fragility and sensitivity are two completely different things, okay? Fragility is when your ego breaks and you can't handle that shit, okay? Awaken, people who have been on this path or on the twin flame journey, you have been broken so many times at this point that you know that you're sensitive and your fragility breaks pretty quick pretty quick. Fragility is the inability to see your own patterns and the things that you're actually deflecting onto other people. That's fragility. Okay. Sensitivity is that you feel everything around you and you're empathic and you're taking on other people's stuff. That's completely different than fragility. This, I feel your person thought that this karmic was sensitive and was mixing up fragility with sensitivity. <laughs> But they have a fragile ego. They, they probably watched this and heard that I was talking to the karmic. Like, if your person's karmic was watching me, they'd be like, I'm having like that. I kind of laugh at it. I'm sorry. It's kind of funny. It's like, you know, you know, you guys laugh at it. You know those, those videos on Instagram when there's a baby crying and it's really funny. You know. You know, not when the baby's hurt, but you know that it's a show. Or the crocodile tears or whatever. And you're like... Oh, whatever. Yeah. So why can't we laugh at adults when they're like that? Because it's funny when the ego flares up, right? So what is it about this masculine towards the karmic care spirit? Being trapped and not going any further with the with the fool in reverse and the eight of swords. So they don't want to move forward with this karmic. What is this karmic towards this masculine right now? Oh, they're upset. The Queen of Wands in reverse. They are upset. Because they're being rejected hardcore. So what is this uh, time out and holding space with the relationship change that this person is doing for this, uh, yeah, the, that this person is doing for the karmic energy? There are four of cups. There are four of cups in it. They're sad. They're regretful. They don't want to take the new opportunity that Spirit is showing them a new path. Why is that? They're stuck. They know they have to move forward with the Eight of Wands, but they're completely stuck with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So, yeah. What are the secrets here that the Karmic knows in regards to the viewer? What does the Karmic energy know towards Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine to the viewer? <laughs> they know that their marriage, their commitment is being affected by this divine love that they're trying to push away with the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Hierophant. They're trying to push it away. Clarify that Ten of Cups. <laughs> and they know that even though they're trying to push it away, that's actually ending their relationship here with the Two of Cups in reverse and they're very wounded. Nine of Wands in reverse. And we have the Ace of, I'm getting bit by a mosquito, Ace of Wands upright. Um for a new beginning. So even though they've tried everything to push this ton of cups away, oh, sorry, it's God's love. You know, you, you can't deal with the one creator. Um, yeah, it's affecting their marriage. How is it affecting their marriage and their commitment here? Oh, they can't move on with the Six of Swords. Their foundation is not moving the four of wands with the six of swords in reverse and the seven of wands everything is breaking everything is falling oh la 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 na not moving forward i should make a freaking fairy tale out of this because the divine masculine has spoke very clearly with the king of swords and the king of wands in reverse they're not actioning and they're being very clear about what they desire they're fighting and moving forward this masculine with the chariot and the five of wands so this masculine is definitely moving forward he's using his intuition he's going towards this high priestess Whew. so why are they not ready to talk why is this masculine energy not ready to talk paisley i'm working Sorry. why is this uh masculine not ready to talk i'm not ready to hear what you have to say they're so scared <laughs> let's see um, wow, the Empress with the Seven of Cups. Empress in reverse with the Nine of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. So, 
Yeah, they pushed their Empress away because of the illusions, and they're now ending this Nine of Cups. Um, and that's why they don't know if they want to come to you because they're afraid of what you're going to say. But it's because they know that you were right. They know that you were right with the illusions, right? They know that they, they chose that snake. Ooh, how was your time in hell? <laughs> Sorry, is that an evil laugh? <laughs> Sorry. So how was that with uh, that Seven of Cups? Decided to go, you know, play with the illusions. They were manipulated. Poor baby. Well, I hope you learned your lesson. Right? This is why it's so hard for these this this person right now. I feel that they've lied to you. They've done things. They pushed you away. Uh, they ghosted you. They um, they they got their karma, and now they're like, I pushed you away, and they don't want to juggle this anymore. They they're gonna come forward and say I was manipulated. They know they were manipulated out of their psyche. They know that, and they want to ground things with you, Divine Feminine, or Divine Masculine, whoever's watching it, take it as it reverses, because it is general. So what are they going to say? <laughs> what are they going to say about pushing the Divine Feminine away? I've awakened to you, and I want to have a reunion, but I'm just so scared with the strength in reverse, and the tower, and the uh, Three of Cups. They're like, I'm scared. Why are they scared? I think they're they're terrified of your power, but what these masculines, uh, divine masculines, have to realize is that you're not separate. So, however the masculine would respond to themselves is how their divine feminine is going to respond to them. Like, you got more power, bro. You got power. Like, use it. Stop being such a scaredy puss. You know why are they scared? Because they're going to have to tell the truth. They're going to be vulnerable. That's why they're scared. Because their egos are scared. It's not like they're scared because of the karmic justice, right? Nah. They're afraid. This is what I'm getting. That if they come back, that you're already taken and you're already happy and you don't need them because you're glowing up and you're moving on. And that the, you, they're not going to need you. And their karmic justice for what they did to you is when they come back and become vulnerable that you'll do the same thing. But it's not for eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Like, this is like... It's a little childish, though your person needs a little growing up still, but that's okay. That's why us Divine Feminines are here. <laughs> that's why we do the work. <sighs> Why do we ever do the work? Hey, eh, women? Like, what is this? we got to birth, we got to have periods, we got to, like, raise children, we got to, like, do everything. Like, hi, I think you can communicate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see what else. What is going on with this masculine energy here, spirit? Let's do some wellness time, and then I'm going to close it off. I just wanted to do a quick read. I knew there was something going on, and the energies, and this mask that wanted to come forward. So take it as it resonates. If you guys want to do a reading or work with me, take a look down below. So what is going on? Let's ask, what is going on with this masculine energy towards the karmic energy right now? What is going on with the masculine towards the karmic Relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. So this person has evolved out of this karmic relationship. Let's get a little bit more. How does this masculine evolved from this karmic relationship? What does he think about this karmic? Yeah, he was heartbroken because, it, because well, because it was a karmic relationship. <laughs> Fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, and more. Well, it was just a chemical reaction, so. <laughs> like, it's not real soul love, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, karmic relationships are just chemical responses from old patterns. Once you can detach from that, you're like, oh, shit. That was just another addiction. That's really what it is. Um, and people get so tied in that loop. They're ascending out of it, see? So they're ascending out of this with the karmic. So let's see what the masculine thinks of the divine feminine. Well, they were hit with Cupid's arrow with the divine feminine. They know that this was true love. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise. This person might surprise you. Invitation. Hesitation. They're making healthy choices for unconditional love because this was an addiction, okay? So they're making healthy choices in regards to love. Okay, unconditional loving, giving affection, falling in love, kisses, and healthy choices between addiction 
codependent obsession, right? So they're making these healthy choices towards the divine feminine. Let's clarify that addiction. What is that addiction? Out of their addiction, they saw how much they had feelings for you. And what about this healthy choice of unconditional love and being hit by Cupid's arrow? Reminiscing keepsake perception and learning from the past. Oh, they're looking at your pictures. They're thinking about you. So let's see what's going on with the karmic energy. How's the karmic energy feeling towards the divine masculine right now? This person that needs to be parented and taken care of like a stupid little baby. Like, I'm sorry. Like, grow up. Like, seriously. Go heal yourself. I'm like, I can feel this karmic. It's like, I need you. I can't do it by myself. Grow up. Like, I don't, it really bothers, it's actually a thing, like, that clingy energy makes me, bleh, makes me want to throw up. Like, I could not ever be with a partner that'd be like, you're not giving me enough attention. Bye. <laughs> I'm not one for that. Need time, takes time to heal. They're taking time to heal. How is this karma towards the masculine? sabotage rebuilding they're trying to work on it still don't leave me we can make it work baby we can make it work but i don't want to be an option not today and kings and keys on a ring option string along one night stand so they're like work on it with me but i want it all clarify that options that they want to work on it be lighthearted finding out things coming to light adapt and change they're like we can change to the masculine Marrying each other. We, we have the same wounds, baby. We can work on it together. We can work on it. We're soulmates. But this masculine already knows that it's a karmic. You can be karmic soulmate. I mean, the labels don't matter. I mean, if it's not a twin flame, then... Or a very high level type of soulmate. Um, everything else is compromising and chemical reactions. Pretty much. So... Um, which is fine if you're at that state of consciousness that's fine but when you're not in that state of consciousness you would rather be single honestly um, uh, yeah <laughs> pretty much um, it's too much of a headache when you become a pure a pure energy um, so yeah so what is this um, let's get some let's get some final messages what is this masculine's intention towards the viewer here oh yeah let's do that what is this mass? Oh, okay. Thank you, Spurs. Spurs, like, let's just go. <laughs> like, which deck? Which deck? What is this masculine's intention towards the, the viewer? Rebirth and change. So this is what they're going through right now. What are their intentions towards the viewer? What do they want with the viewer? Yeah. They're putting a happy ending. They're working on their health, and they're putting a happy ending. Um... They want to communicate to you. Exactly. I was feeling this person wants to talk. They want to communicate that they put a happy ending to something. I feel like that's why they're taking time because they want it to be nice and amicable. I mean, that's always nice to have a relationship in that way. You know, I've, I've always tried to do that with my exes too, but I've dealt with psychotic people. So, <laughs> I mean, this may not be a thing too with you, this person's psychotic that they're dealing with. Um, I feel like um, this person's not mentally well, so I feel like they're trying to hang on and say that it's okay, but they're not okay, and I think this, your person is trying to make sure that it really is okay, because they want to come towards you, and they don't want to bring drama into your life, so that's another reason. Um, we have here communication, happy ending, because they want to work on their health and domestic harmony with you. And they're rebirthing and changing here, right? They're changing. What is going on with this masculine towards the karmic? Well, they're getting, um, they're healing. See, they're healing from the karmic. They're getting financially disciplined because they're manifesting abundance out of this and they're healing from this. Can't make it up, guys. That's amazing. Any final messages for the viewer, please, Spirit? Any final messages? Go into nature. Be one with the mother. Ground yourself. Work on yourself. Grow, keep growing, keep actioning your life. Follow your intuition and keep it, keep it up with your self-love, guys. All right, that is everything, my loves. If you like that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to work with me. All that info is down below. And uh, don't forget to comment because I really love talking to you guys. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye.